So you guys know how I broke my lemon squeezer in the last vlog? Let's see if we can still use it. I can just push down on this part. Here it goes. A lot harder. I had to do this with two hands, I think. Yeah, I gotta get a new one. It's basically impossible. But I still got some juice in there. Ready? You know the drill. Cheers. Salute. That'd be you. Now let's start off with three scrambled eggs. No salt, no pepper, no butter. Not necessary. I'm all out of green tea, but I found this in the cupboard. Trader Joe's coconut green tea with lemongrass and ginger. Smells pretty nice. Not bad. Not bad at all. Since I've been eliminating more carbs from my diet, such as one less bread in the morning, and no granola with my yogurt at nighttime, I've been feeling light as. I was flying down the lanes yesterday, and especially I'm back on my chicken, quinoa, and spinach diet, I feel less bloated, less gassy. Like the broccoli was like, I don't know why I'm like really sensitive to broccoli, and the teriyaki sauce had way too much sodium. So I'm glad I'm back on it. I don't even know why I switched my diet halfway through racing season. I shouldn't be doing something outrageous like that. I need to stick to my routine and follow through to the end of the season. I am all ready for temple. I'm rocking my high calf compression socks so my calves don't get tired. It's blazing hot out, so got my shorts on too. Let's see if we have the turf field to ourselves. And I, oh basically. On the menu today we have two by five turnarounds. So turnaround meaning there and back, so it's like a 200. So, two times, wait, two sets, oh god damn. <laughs> a lot of temple today, but it's necessary since I eat a lot of stuff over the weekend. It always seems impossible until it's finished. Remember when I said I have two by five turnarounds and I was like, oh no, I was like dreading it. But immediately after that, I switched my mindset. I was like, let's not focus on if I can do it. Let's just focus on the task at hand, doing each turnaround Focusing on my technique, staying upright, hips up, pushing off each foot strike, and that was able to distract me from thinking about whether I could do it or not. And then on the last turnaround, I was like, oh no, I'm so tired, I could take a longer rest if I wanted to, but then I was like, nope, can't be weak right now, let's imagine I have two more turnarounds, then all of a sudden I had to summon more energy, because if I'm doing an extra two, I need more fuel in the tank. So I was able to finish the last one pretty strong. It's crazy how powerful the mind is. It's beautiful. Um, the funny thing is, my endurance has always been the worst. Elementary school, I was always last or second last in cross country, believe it or not. And even in basketball, I would run there, run back, run there, run back, run there, run back, and I'd be poofed. But if you work on something and you really want it, you work on all these little things, add them up, you'll get there. It's simple, it's just mathematics. <laughs> so I've been training for like eight months, so obviously now my endurance has like, boom, it increased by like 500% or something like that. Before I could like, I would run like two minutes and I'd be so tired, but now I can do like 10 minutes at a pretty fast pace. I could probably do 15, 20, but I'd just be slowing down. Oh, I have a friend's, uh, what's it called? Return party? She went to Australia for like a year She's like one of my good friends, and I haven't seen her for a year. <laughs> uh, the problem is, they're eating out, and I was thinking, okay, let me look at the menu. There's salad, kale salad. I'm like, oh, I'm going to choose that, but then she's like, oh, it's a set menu because there's over 13 or something like that. So I'm going to give them a call and see if I can, if they can make an exception because I have a big race next week. So I was told that there's one person that cannot eat peanuts, tree nuts, shellfish, fish, and sesame. Right, yeah, um, I'm, no, I'm someone else who, um, I, I have like a, a, an event next weekend, like a competition, and so I can't eat a lot of the food, so I need to just stick to salads. Would that be okay uh, for an exception? Right. Um, I will talk to a manager right now, um, and I will let you know in a little bit. Um, can I get a phone number? 778. So they called back, and they're like, we'll make an exception for you. Only you though, so I'm like, yes. I'm gonna order a beet salad. So no carbs, it's just healthy greens. I mean, it's gonna be a little saucy maybe, but 
It'll be fine. But before we do that, we still have to get our meals in. Chicken breast, let's do it. I'm only eating a chicken breast and quinoa right now because I'm eating a salad later, so I didn't bother to make spinach. I'm heading to the uh, restaurant right now. I don't even know how to pronounce it. Ostivia Vav something. It's a, some sort of Italian restaurant. I basically found parking right in front of the restaurant. I'm not sure how much vlogging I'll be doing in the restaurant because most of the people I know there are acquaintances and they might not want to be in the videos. So we'll see. I'll try to get Mitzi though. So this is Mitzi. You have not seen her, like her face, in one of my vlogs. Wait, she was with me in one of my vlogs before, like way back. She just came back from Australia and I haven't seen her in a year. In half. In half, so it's been a long time. The dessert came and this is what I'm missing out on. Oh my God, that looks so good. I'm gonna have to come here after uh, my season is over. There were a lot of temptations at dinner. People were like, yo, Try some of our uh, dishes. A little piece is not gonna hurt, but I stayed strong. If I don't need it, I don't need to eat it. <laughs> that should be a slogan. If you don't need it, you don't need to eat it. <laughs> I stayed strong and I only stuck to my beet salad. Didn't touch the dessert. I smelled it though. It smelled really good. I'm feeling slim. I think by the end of the two races, I'm gonna look like anorexic because I'm feeling like I'm probably like at nine percent body fat right now, or something like that. Maybe maybe ten, maybe ten from all the residuals from the cheat meals. But I think in a week, I'm gonna be like down to nine percent, maybe eight. I don't know. I'm feeling good. That's all that matters. So this is the big meet next Wednesday. The Harry Jerome Classic is officially sold out. Kind of a bummer because I want to, you know, have my friends come along and watch, but they'll have to stick to the uh, live stream just like you guys. Let's take a look at the start list. Save this on your calendar. 8.35, Athletics Canada presents 110 meter hurdles. Isn't this ridiculous? Damien Warner, 13.27. That's more than a second and a half faster than me. That's so... Uh, I, I, can't, I can't even fathom it. It's, it's too crazy. Someone here has to record the live stream. On Piano News, I am almost finished remastering the third movement of the Pathétique. So I will play some for you right now. I'm selling these two Nixon watches, 51 and 30 tied because I don't wear them anymore. The black one has rhinestones, it still has a battery, but the uh, bracelet, some of the color has come off. So this one is going for 250. I bought this 575, I believe, before taxes. The gold one is going for 195. Uh, the bracelet is fine, okay? but there's a small little scratch on the face. You can't even tell on the camera. Really, really small, no battery, so that's why this is 195, but I bought this one for uh, 525 before tax. So you're getting at least half off, but uh, I used to wear them all the time, and this one would get a lot of compliments. Like girls would just come up to me and be like, yo, I love your watch, or even like when I, uh, go out and yeah, like the waitresses always will comment on this one. These are really big watches. They're flashy. Oh, the uh, bezel spins as well as a timer. So yeah, DM me if you're interested at Changman on Instagram. I'm excited for tomorrow because there's practice on the track and lifting after. And all I want to do is work on my trail leg. There's no better feeling than knowing that you're progressing in something. It's an amazing feeling. Like you're getting better, you're improving, you're understanding the biomechanics, you're understanding how it feels when your body is doing it right. I can't compare it to anything. It's, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words. Like progressing at this has given me such a, I don't know, like it makes me so happy. 
basically, and there's nothing else that makes me happier. Let's get our 10 hours of sleep in so my body can fully recover, and we'll hit it hard at the track tomorrow, and I'm excited because now that I have a lav mic, I can just hook it up to my coach, and I can just set up my camera from afar and film a lot of things. So, more stuff for you guys to see, more insight behind the scenes. I'm sure you guys are happy. And that way I don't have to worry about the uh, camera angles because it's such a wide view. You can see everything. Team Chant, ready? You know what it is. Tokyo on three. Put your hands in, let's go. One, two, three, Tokyo, yo.